Hello, welcome to 2017, and what is going to be another youth video, because, you know, they're doing well, they're getting some views, so why not keep doing them? <clears throat> and they're also kind of interesting to do, and they do show you some good players that you can buy. This video is another Spanish centre-back. And now I have to work out how to actually say his name, because I've been saying it wrong. I think I've been... Jorge Mer? Jorge... I always call him Jorge Mer. I call him, I call him just Mer. So Jorge Mer. So, starts out at a uh, sporting... Goujon. On decent contract. 5 million. Kind of pricey. But you know, 20 determination on a centre back. You know you've got a good, uh, a good uh, youth on 20 determination. He's only enthusiastic. He's not close to the wonder kid. Um, we're tracking his the same stats as we did for Vallejo. So his heading, marking, passing, passing and tackling. But look, his stats straight up. So decent defender already. You know he can do a job. Obviously he plays the ball playing. Um, Acceleration is decent, pace is decent, fitness is good, stamina is brilliant, the strength is decent, his jumping and reach is a bit shit for a centre back, but he's a ball playing centre back. This is my excuse for anyone that says that the, the last two, well, this guy and previous one can't head or whatever, they're ball playing centre backs. Their role is to well, pass it out, really. But yeah, so he's at Sporting. Now, unlike the last two where we, where we only jump through a season at a time. I'm going to do two seasons at a time. Just as more to talk about between each one. So yeah, let's come back in two seasons time. And as I forgot, this is the uh, save that it's three years in the future because the second one's messed up into two years. But we'll have a uh, we'll have a look at where Jorge Mer has gone. Okay, Liverpool. That's what. My God, we've got a lot to cover already. So in three years, he's managed to become world-class centre-back with 38.5 million and got seven Spain caps and a goal. So with us look at stat improvements. Let's get the piece of paper over again. Right, so his heading started at 13. It's now at 16. That's improvement three. You can probably do maths. His jumping reach gone from 9 to 13. I tried to point that out as well. His stamina's also gone. His trump's gone up. He's an incredible centre-back. Jesus Christ. Um, his marking's gone from... 15 to 17, is passing from 13 to 14, and he's tackling from 15 to 16, at the age of 22. His mentals are incredible at the age of 22. Only his aggression is, well, not green, and is below. All the rest are 12 and above. And I mean, his next up is Flair. 12 Flair on the centre-back. That's pretty good. Let's see when he moved. Right, so he managed... A season at Sporting Goujon in other oh, in the second division of Spain, so you might be able to pick him up kind of cheap. Uh, where he played 37 games, two goals, two assists, uh, six weight matches, an average rate of 7.24. Pretty good. Then same league again. 34 games, three goals, three play matches, a 6.99. Yeah. First season at Liverpool though, 37 games, so I think only missed one game at season, uh, six assists, and two play matches to see. Ball playing centre back. Let's see if he's won anything. So, you can see he did there. So look, look, um, really? Really? Like, seriously? They're in the second division when they win this. They win the Copa del Rey against Real, against Real Madrid. While they're in the second division of Spain. Oh wait, no, that's first division. That's first division. What's second division? Oh. Why do I think it went first, second division? They know everything I've said when they said second division. They went first division, but it's still not a great team. So why have they won it anyway? Who did they beat? Real, that's semi-final is miles away. Alves, but the fucking hell! Oh, there's, that's this uh, video demonetized. Um, they beat Barca. Did be anyone? Anyway. Villarreal. They opened up for themselves. They just took out biggest two teams. Barca and oh, Jesus Christ. 
Whew. Well, that's pretty impressive. So, they won the Copa del Rey. Then they won the Super Copa de España. They run as, run as a bit second league, but that's ages ago. Wait, so if they won this, who did they beat? Who did they win this against then? Oh, behave. Behave. <laughs> right, so they've managed to beat Real and Barca in the final of two cups. I know this is a weird two legged, uh, like, cup winners, cup, English equivalent of the Community Shield. For winning the domestic cup and then the domestic league. But apart from that, he's players player of the season. Team of the week once. Team of uh, Spartans seasonal best twice. And he was Liverpool. What is it with centre backs and breaking the record for in the for FA Cup games? An eight point three five in FA Cup for him. And in the team of the week. Wait, player I, I may have messed that up when I was doing it the last one. Because I didn't realise their player of the month and player of the week come up. Or team of the week come up in the same one. Don't know why I didn't read it, but oh well. So he, he's done well. Not to love boys for in three years and become an incredible centre back already. So let's uh, let's jump through uh, two more seasons. And let's see. I don't know how else he can improve. I suppose winning trophies at Liverpool would be a. Well, yeah, that's why he's probably going to go for next. So yeah, we'll have a look. Right, so we're two more years into the future, and let's have a look how he's doing. Still Liverpool. 24 years old. He's had 31 caps for Spain. He's, his value is now 47 million. He's on 180k a week. You can have a really good Spanish uh, duo. If you've got uh, Jorge and Jesus Vallejo. Just think. Um, let's have a look. His stats. Headings 12 to 16. Marking 15 to 17. Passing thirteen to fourteen, tackling fifteen to seventeen. His natural, he's pretty hell. Strength, stamina, and natural fitness is incredible. Twenty really six foot. I seem to think of six foot, six foot centre backs. So look. So we're doing two seasons here. So why is it been playing incredibly well? Right. So he's in the second season at Liverpool, he played thirty six games, three goals, three assists. Sorry. No goals. Six player matches, a 7.63 average rating. In the second season, three, 33 games, two goals, five assists. Seven player matches, a 7.56. That's an eight. Why do I not know numbers all of a sudden? <laughs> I'm struggling on numbers. It's been a while since no maths. I don't care if I did maths. And let's have a look if he won anything. So we're doing two years. Uh, no. It's, oh, wait, that's, that's a lie. So, you know, all this, all this won't leak. So they won the league in 2020, he got supporters player of the year this season. No. Oh, wait, no, yeah, he did. He got it. He got it last season and this season. I just did scroll up. So he got it both seasons, supporters player for Liverpool. So they do like him, but let's have a look how it went from when they won the league. We'll do this season first. Wait, so they finished third. I didn't check they finished last season. They finished third in that season. They won the league by four points. You, you'll have seen some of these when I check the Chelsea ones, because uh, obviously Vallejo's at Chelsea. But it's when they finished fourth. That was his first season here. Their whole season before he came. So, it's a pretty impressive season, actually. For, well, pretty impressive. Two seasons. He got a league title. So he's got some more trophies. Like another trophy under his belt. We'll just have a look at all his trophies all together so far. So, six winners' medals. We have to take... Oh, he's got the... Under 21's championship with Spain as well, and the Olympic Games, which is, yeah, we already knew about that. If you remember from Vallejo, we have to get rid of one for the under 19 championship, so he's only got one, two, three, four, yeah, five. I could have taken one off the six, to be honest, but didn't think about that. So, yeah, so five winners' medals already. So, uh, let's jump through another two seasons and see if he can add to that. Right, so two more years, and let's have a look how Jorge Mer is doing. Or Mer, whatever his name is. Oh! He's had a transfer. I can imagine this is a quite big money move due to the fact he's now valued at 60 million. 47 Spain caps, no more goals. It's PSG on 230k a week. We'll obviously do the stats again, so he's heading from 12 to 16, marking from 15 to 17, passing from 13 to 14. Tackling 15-17, that's no improvements from last time. 
his mentors are incredible. His flyer's gone up. Um, his his physicals, bloody hell. He's he's. I never checked his really developed in pace. Fifteen acceleration, fifteen pace. It's just his jumping reach is a bit off. But I said ball playing centre back. He was probably could jump. Just play three up back and play the two other centre backs that can jump. Right. So, oh my god. So literally. Uh, did we? See, oh god, I don't know which season we've seen. Oh no, it's, yeah, it's two seasons. So he, he he had one season at Liverpool, where he played all thirty eight games in the league, scored once, got two assists, four play matches, seven point two nine. Then he joined PSG, where he's only got twenty seven games, uh, one goal, one play match, and a six point nine eight. So his average rating has dropped. And I want to check his injury list first. So I did two months. That's why he's missed a lot of games then. No, it's last season. Is it? Oh, is that the beginning of this season? It might be the beginning of this season, I don't know. Oh, well, so let's have a look. Let's just jump to Liverpool. Uh, no, we didn't win anything, but he got sold for 73 million, which is a Liverpool record sale. Then obviously he went to PSG, he won league. I say obviously, you've... Oh, no, if we... Are we going to hit that bit where PSG... No, great. Wait, have they already done it? I'm going to have to look if they've already done it. If you haven't seen the last one, there's a bit of a bit of a mad season at one point in the in this league. Oh, it's not come yet, we're going to have to see it. There's a mad season. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit ridiculous. So, uh, Jorge Mer, anyway, got his Mer, whatever his name is, got his, um, Mary? Not a clue. Got a, yeah, good transfer to PSG for a lot of money. Incredible stats as well. So let's, uh, let's go through two more years and see uh, if he can win anything else. Right, so of course we've gone two more years in the future. Um, part of the reason why I've done two years as well is um, it makes the video shorter. Because the first one with Pre-Drag was 35 minutes and the Vallejo one's like 20 odd minutes. And it's just, it just is a little bit long to watch. So anyway, Hage Mess still at PSG. 72... Hage Mer, what it Hage. I need to stop getting caught up on that. 72 caps for Spain now. At the age of 28, he's obviously the starting centre back. Um, actually, we know both the starting centre backs are. This should be quite obvious. Yep, they're both there. And Kuki's the starting striker. There you go. This is Spain produced some incredibly good youths. It's a little bit frightening, actually. But let's just uh, drop back to Parkin and stop getting caught up on that. So, 275k a week. And over a quarter of a million. Mad. So, starts again. Heading 12 to 16. Marking 15 17. Passing 13 to 13. His passing's gone down. Prick. Tackling from 15 to 17. That's not gone down. Still incredible mentals. Still incredible physicals. Let's have a look. So, two seasons. Done up in 26 games. One goal, five assists, no player matches, 7.02. Next season, more like it. 35 games, four assists, two player matches, 7.59. Now, so we're looking at 23 to 24. Concussion. Nope. No reason for him not really to play unless they've got another centre back. Did they just, like, buy every centre back onto man? Meh, they've, they've like, two centre backs. So Marquinhos. Oh wait. The god oh my god, that's a godlike regen. Uh Uh well, this always happens. Full manager doesn't really it, it doesn't really balance out your regens for centre backs, because they always tend to be really strong, really tall, and absolutely rapid. This <laughs> is not fair. Ugh. Some bloody good players, PSG, aren't they? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, I've been demonetized again. I don't know, I can get demonetized twice. I'm managing it though. Although recently my videos got, um, got ads played on them. Oh my god. I don't even care. Anyway, Mare, did he win anything? Mare. I'm having a Mare. Bloody hell. Um, where do I start? What year are we in? <laughs> right, that. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> Winners of the trophy. De Champions, put on the best French accent for this. Runners up of the Copa de Liga, 
winners of Liga 1, winners of the Copa de France, runners up of the Trophy de Champions, winners of the Copa de Liga, winners of the Copa de France. Jesus Christ, that's one, two, three, four, five, that's five trophies in two years. Ugh. That's six trophies altogether. That's, that's one second. How, how big is this trophy cabinet now? Come to twelve. He's truly one of uh, the fuck's sake. Demontized. Um, he's truly one of world's football, world football's global superstars. That's a bloody struggle, this. Now twelve competition wins. Eleven, because we're not counting that one. That's well not counted. But he's won the league. He's won the Premier League and League One. I'd love to see him go somewhere else and win that league. That'd be great. He's a fucking good. Demontized. He's a bloody good. He's a very good centre back. Let's put it that way. Like, I know his first sign's thirty three and a half million, but he did manage to get two seasons in first. So I don't know if you got in there really quickly, getting cheaper before he's developed. It all sounds weird when I say like that. Anyway, let's have a look at his last two seasons, and then I'll leave it there. Right, so Hog Gamer's last two seasons. Where is he now? He's still at PSG. Still on that massive contract, 97 Spain caps. And because it's the last one, we can definitely, we can now, well, yeah, stats. And, yeah. So his heading altogether went from 12 to 16, so it improved by 4. Marking it from 15 to 17, improved by 2. Passing went from 13 to 14, went back up. Improvement of 1, and his tackling went from 15 to 17, so improvement of 2. So we've seen his core defending stats improve for a ball playing set back. But as you can see the side, his physicals have massively jumped. His pace did improve, but it's dropping now that he's 30. But yeah, so he's very good centre back. Very, very good centre back. So, I only played 28 games in both these two seasons. Oh, do we get to see the mad season? I didn't even check the other two seasons. Um, 7.3 in his first, and 7.62. Let's have a look what they won then. So, we're looking at, I forgot what seasons. Shit, I have to always do that. Uh, 25 to 27 altogether. So, what did they m manage to win then? So they won the Copa de Liga, the Copa de France, I don't know if they won, no they won it before, I don't know actually. But then they won the Copa de Liga again, Liga 1 and the Copa de France. Runners up in the trophy, the champion. Winners in Liga 1. And winners of the Copa de France. So they, they did pretty well. But I wanna, I wanna see if we can see that mad season. Cause there's a, there's a, Really stupid season. So they won it there, convincingly. Yeah, you know, because of the Marseille one. They won it there. Oh, it's this one. This season. I'd have been gutted if I were at PSG. Our game there missed out by a point. They went unbeaten, but didn't win league. Ah, they won a game. How gutted do you have to be to go unbeaten a full season, but still not win league? And the season after they lost three games in one league. I'd be really pissed if I went unbeaten. It's a team that won it only lost for, it lost a total of three times, sorry. I mean, they only drew once. I'd be pissed. They lost both games to PSG as well, Monaco. I'd be really pissed. But yeah, PSG pretty much dominate this league. Except when Monaco decide that they want to beat them. But PSG still technically dominated the league because they didn't lose and then beat Monaco twice. It didn't win league. That'd be good. Great, so let's go back to our game and wrap this up. So, starts at Sporting Goujon, not a big team in Spain. Uh, yes, Liverpool signing 33 and a half, and then uh, PSG signing 73 mil, total 106 mil together. But he did have two seasons to develop, so if you can, and he started at 5 mil, so if you can try and pick him up early on, he might was getting cheap per, so you're looking at, I don't know. Um, they might push you to like 12, 13, 15. It's worth it. Just, you've got a centre back for like a very long time than starting at 20 years old. At 30, these are his stats. He can go to these about 33, 34. No push, really. <laughs> In this league, he definitely can. Um, so yeah, you've got a centre back for at least 10 years minimum. Then. So please sign him. It, it's worth it. Anyway, I'll wrap this up now. I'll give you the nice little hint at the next play we're doing. It's left back, and he's he's German. Yeah, he's German. I got the countries confused. And he's he's a German left back. 
So there you go. So I'll see you when we do the uh, well, the development of him. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.